Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and it's another reaction video where we're going to be taking a look at a woke liberal activist getting embarrassed. Uh, does anything else happen with these people? Do they ever not get cooked, roasted, humiliated? Somebody let me know, but I think this is because when they appear on these shows like Piers Morgan Uncensored, the only arguments they take with them are the ones they've heard other liberals say or they've watched MSNBC, CNN, and they just repeat the talking points without actually knowing what they're on about and you're gonna see it perfectly in this video because a debate took place on Piers Morgan's show regarding the sham that was the Trump hush money trial and the woke activist Francesca Fiorentini I believe that's how you say it was asked well what crime did Trump actually commit by Michael Knowles and then Piers Morgan and because she doesn't actually know she stutters <laughs> and embarrasses herself and gets corrected by another guest on the panel now remember this is the same woman who a couple of weeks ago Piers Morgan called <laughs> a lunatic over her insane takes on men competing in women's sports. Hang on. To get a ticket, on, which would, would suck. I want to do a little checklist here. You'd let Usain Bolt compete as a sprinter in the American women's Olympic team? Yes. OK. You would yes. let uh, Floyd Mayweather compete as a boxer in the women's American boxing yeah. team? Yeah, you are a you complete have to be, like, the heavyweight utter lunatic. No. So I don't think something like this should really be a surprise, right? But before we get into it and take a look at this, if you could, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to 70k. Let's smash this one, guys. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below in the description, and let's get into this. But this has absolutely nothing to do with the law. As was noted earlier, at most you're talking about a, a misdemeanor that would have already expired under the statute of limitations. I'm not even convinced that there was really a misdemeanor that Trump committed. So my fellow panelist here is celebrating that, that the rule of law has been vindicated and overturned 234 years of American legal tradition. I would challenge her to see if she could possibly articulate how and what crime Trump committed, because so far Alvin Bragg, the DA, has failed to do so. The, the judge in the case, Judge Marchand, has failed to do so. And they can't do it because Trump didn't commit any of the crimes for which he's been convicted. Well, let's just ask quickly, before I go to Kevin, Francesca, just on that point, what crime did Trump commit? He, it was, it was campaign, it was financial crimes. It was white collar crimes. It was, it, what that was is it? exactly which what one, they though? charged him. It was, he was convicted on. What was the crime? It's New York state law. No, I understand, it's What's New, the, it, what was the crime? It is New <laughs> Francesca, I, gotta, I, actually, I don't even like it. It is well, literally on, on, he just got convicted on thirty-four counts. Francesca, what of, was the of crime? Act of like cooking the actual books. What was the crime? You are not allowed. So you are not allowed to to use your own financial, like your own money, to pay off somebody, and then he wrote he he logged it as something different. He logged it as just a regular payment, but he was actually paying off this porn star to keep quiet, which, if he hadn't been running for president, would not have mattered, but he was. And so it impacted campaign finance laws in New York State. Okay, that is what Juan Rachan just Even Piers knows this. she's talking Alan absolute Bragg crap. These charges that's, because that's Michael not, Cohen that's not quite was already okay, sentenced okay. to three years okay, to do it. Okay, let's just go before... Uh, Kevin, I'd be very, very, very patient. Well, I will I'm come no, to you. Look, I'm no expert. Let me just say, hang on, no, no, Michael. Francesca, you are no expert. Michael, by that's the way. Francesca, the campaign finance wait, 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 law is a wait, federal wait. law. Hang on, anyway, Francesca. Yeah. I want to go to Mark. You're the lawyer. Is anything Francesca just said, is that actually the crime? Look, let me just say, I like Francesca a lot. I was saying we probably agree on 80% of our worldviews. <laughs> However, Francesca, that... That what the way you just described it, call me afterwards and I'll educate you because that's not what happened. There was no theory that was given to the to the jurors. The jurors were told it could have been campaign finance, it could have been tax, it could have been false books. They were told they didn't have to specify and specifically told they did not have to agree unanimously. That's what irks me. Lifelong Democrat, no fan of Trump, never voted for Trump, never will. But I will tell you, as somebody who has spent his entire career kind of taking on unpopular causes and holding the government accountable, um, I have to tell you, I do that for a reason. And it, the reason is this kind of shenanigans, and that's the best light I can spin it, on in, in the criminal courts has no place in a federal election. No, the, I agree. the campaign finance but, laws but, but, were federal, not state. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't even carry on with this video. We have a guy who is a never-Trumper, 
lifelong Democrat, and he's even sat there saying, wait, hold on here, what you're saying is wrong. You've heard what he just said. This is something that's never happened before. But because it's Trump, oh, it's got to happen. And these people will repeat everything they've heard. And this is why what's just happened here has happened. She's heard other people say, 34 counts, he's a convicted felon. Right, but when you sit there and ask them, wait, what was the actual crime? I don't know. But all they're going to do is shout and scream, 34, 34. And that's all they have to do because that's what anybody will talk about. Right, 34 is their new number, by the way, because previously it was 1984 because they've read George Orwell's book and obviously wanted to live in that time. They thought it sounded great, but 34 is the new favorite number. It's just insane to me how these people go on these debate shows without doing any research, without backing anything up. And yet everybody is supposed to take them seriously. And then when somebody disagrees with them, they're the one that gets really upset, like they shouldn't be disagreeing with them, yet they've done no research into what they're talking about. You know, I, I don't mean to pick on Francesca too much here, but it's it very telling that even the me. liberals who are going on television to defend this ruling have to Google in the breaks to figure out what the crime was. <laughs> and and even then, I'm sorry to say, misrepresent what, what the actual supposed crime was. The, the I reason will Google here it because it's literally not oh, excuse my me, Oh, no, 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 no. She could never appear on this show again, I tell you now, after that. What? <laughs> you have to Google what's going on in the break? <laughs> and obviously she goes on to say, it's not my job, but it is your job to do at least a little bit of research. You can't get angry for people calling you out here. All right? <laughs> it's crazy. Michael Knowles, man. Round of applause for this guy. <laughs> oh, boy. If I I'll said he's cooking the books, that's the but, same thing. Yeah, uh, Trump posed a major threat. That's why they took such extraordinary measures for the last eight years to take this guy out. They weren't able to do it politically. They weren't even really able to do it at the ballot box. So what, what's left? The only thing left to do is to try to throw him in prison so that he can't campaign for the election. I agree it's backfiring. This is not a federal case, it, Michael. You know that. It's not even a federal case why do you think that it's not a doj case it's not a biden case it's not a merrick garland thing it's new york state law so the idea that this is somehow politically motivated is all biden made up in your also, head because what you Biden's do DOJ is on also your show every Donald day twice. is you groom your audience for fascism and you set them up for a complete <laughs> takeover of the doj this is all about allowing Trump to get away with any crime he wants, as you sort of slighted and, and sort of, you know, laid out very, like, nonchalantly just a little bit ago. He was impeached twice. Doesn't really matter that he tried to blackmail the leader of Ukraine into digging up non-existent dirt on Joe Biden, but that doesn't matter to you Joe or Biden your followers. Joe Biden threatened to withhold arms. You want to make <laughs> sure... You want to make Francesca, sure that when you're, you're Trump accusing is re me of he can get away... That's a big he can, he can, uh, he can get away that's, with you're getting rid of, fascism, of the Department that's a big of Education. Charge. All I would point out is that it's not my party that's imprisoning its political opponents right, right. So I, mean, that, I, mean, I was that, about to say, about. I was about to president? say, one of Who's the key tenets of fascism is you imprison your political opponents. Who's in prison? She screams. Well, he's not in prison yet, but these people definitely want to put him into prison, and I think we can all see that. But what's a uh, classic representation of most woke liberal leftists out there? You know, they scream, shout, 34, 34, white collar crimes, <laughs> and then they have to Google what is actually going on within the breaks. Actually, you know what? Probably Googling in the previous debate she was in talking about trans athletes probably would have helped as well. You know, if she Googled biological facts, she probably wouldn't have been called a lunatic. But, um, <laughs> oh man, oh man. But let's just do a little bit of our own research, shall we? And again, you know, Francesca probably should have done some of this. I found this article on New York Magazine that was done by a CNN senior legal analyst, which I find very interesting. And let's just read what they had to say regarding the whole trial. Standing alone, falsification charges would have been mere misdemeanors under New York law, which posed two problems for the DA. Firstly, nobody cares about misdemeanor, and it would be laughable to bring the first ever charge against a former president for a trifling offense that falls within the same technical criminal classification as shoplifting a Snapple and a bag of Cheetos from a bodega. Second, the statute of limitations on a misdemeanor two years likely has long expired on Trump's conduct, which dates to 2016 and 2017. So to inflate the charges up to the lowest level felony, Class E, on a scale of Class A through E, and to electric shock them back to life within the longer felony statute of limitations, the DA alleged that the falsification of business records was committed
committed with intent to commit another crime. Here, according to prosecutors, the another crime is a New York state election violation, which in turn incorporates three separate unlawful means, federal campaign crimes, tax crimes, and falsification of still more documents. Inexcusably, the DA refused to specify what those unlawful means actually were, and the judge declined to force them to pony up until right before closing arguments. And I love this comment somebody made on the actual video Piers Morgan uploaded. This woman is certifiably insane. This is a DA in Alvin Bragg that drops felonies to misdemeanors, releases criminals from jail, yet this is the thing he chooses to bump from maybe a misdemeanor to a felony. Nobody can name a specific crime that he committed. The FEC investigated this and found nothing they could prosecute. They've known about this since 2016, yet they've only just now decided to bring this forward. And she's going to sit there and tell the world that this is not politically motivated. Did I miss anything? Hey, look, man, we can all see the sham that is the Trump trial. We can see what's really going on here. We can see the political aspects of it all. But leave your thoughts down below, ladies and gentlemen. What are your thoughts on this? I'd like to know. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below in the description. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.